Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how to increase your FPS in Counter-Strike Source. What you're gonna begin with if the, is that you go to NVIDIA's control panel. Now, if you have NVIDIA, and if you have NVIDIA, just right-click on your desktop and go to this NVIDIA's control panel. If you don't have NVIDIA, try to look for the thing I'm looking for at the moment. Uh, it is vertical sync, and you should try to turn it off on your thing. And I'm gonna show you how to find it in NVIDIA. It will just load. Yeah, there we go. Uh, what you're gonna do is you go to adjust image settings with preview. Uh, then it should look like this. Press the link, take me there. There we go. Glo go to global settings and scroll down. Here you see vertical sync. That should be force off. Now, um, some I had problems getting this to be stuck at force off. I don't know why. Um, uh, I pressed apply, but it uh, got uh, reset to f uh, use free this application settings. So what you're gonna do is you go to program settings, and you select Counter Strike Source. If you can't find it here, just press add, and find it in your yeah, look for it. And also have this fill in, otherwise you will have a lot of games which you don't have, and it will be hard to find it. So yeah, and also here, go down to the bottom and vertical sync force off press apply okay the next thing we're gonna do is we go to this computer and you're gonna find your steam folder I got it right on here on steam and then steam apps your username on steam counter strike source C strike and CFG I just gonna copy all this in this tech document and I'm gonna remove it what you're gonna do is you're gonna create autoexec.cfg and how to do that? Well, just make a text document and the best way to do this, which will work for everyone, is you go in on it go to archive, save as rename it to autoexec.cfg and take all files here take save and close it down you can now remove the, this little text document and just click the autoexec.cfg now uh, you should wait I'm just gonna do something okay there so you won't see something um, um okay uh, you're gonna copy this from the co uh, from the information on the video clip uh, I also gonna post the download to this uh, document so you can just download it if you're too lazy to make one. But yeah, um, these settings here, seal update rate and seal simulate rate. Um, this maybe you will have to change, but we're gonna look how to know what uh, settings you will have later on in this tutorial. These settings here don't do anything to the graphic settings almost, and they increase the FPS slightly. Now these things here. They uh, re removes a lot of, g of things in the uh, graphic and uh, increase the FPS a lot. Um, uh, yeah, uh, they like remove bullet holes and things like that. But uh, I played with it, and I mean, it's no big difference actually, and it's really good because your FPS gets boosted a lot. Okay, now we're just gonna take up Counter Strike Source. Then you should go to options and take the video tab and press advanced. Here you should um, make sure that you got. Uh, I'm gonna have the texture on high because my background get, uh, looks better. But yeah, that doesn't really matter. Well, you're gonna have anti aliasing mode, whatever, to none. Filtering mode to try linear or wait for vertical sync disabled. High dynamic range should be none, I think. And yeah, this doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, press apply and okay. Okay, so you take up the game, and I suggest you join a war server because the FPS uh, tick rate is 100 there, and that's better. Um, you see my it, uh, FPS down there in the right corner is just 30, but that's because I'm recording, and Fraps is set on 30 FPS when I'm recording. 
Well, yeah, anyways. Uh, what you're gonna do is you take up the console and type in net underscore graph free. Now you should have the same thing down there in the right bottom corner. Uh, you should look for lows and choke. If you got any lows or choke, and if you don't got any lows or choke, uh, I mean, if you got lows or choke, you should do it like this. You type in CL update rate to something um, lower if you have a low stroke and also CL CMD rate something lower if you have low stroke um, until you don't have any low stroke and then you put that in your auto exit.cfg you should try it with uh, CL update rate 100 and CL underscore CMD rate 100 at the beginning and then lower it until you have no lows or choke yeah um yeah hope this works for you got any problems um please leave a comment and yeah thank you for watching this tutorial i hope it helped i forgot something um while having the game up you take in control alt delete you go to uh, the second tab and then hl2.exe you right click on it and change priority to real time yes and then change process blah 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 this will increase fps and i don't know i have problems getting this to stay because every time i close down the game it doesn't it gets reset to normal so but if you have like a war on the when you're playing a css war you should do this because the fps will get higher so yeah yeah thank you for watching this tutorial and i hope it helped